we begin the same by factorizing each expression. Now you've got to be very careful here. So this is a negative 4x squared. So we list the factor pairs with negative 12. We have negative 4x, negative 4x, or divided by negative 4, or because this is negative 4x squared. To make negative 4, we pick this factor pair. And we put negative 6 into the bracket. If we're not sure about this, go back to my previous videos on factorizing, and I've explained it clearly there. So we can see that we can factor out negative 2 here. We can factor out positive 2 here. The reason is that I'm trying to make this become the same. So if I don't factor out negative 2 here, this will never be positive. And at the end, I need to get a negative 4 to cancel out this negative 4. And negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So I can now close them off. And this is my answer for the numerator. For the denominator, I leave factor pairs for positive 6. And I choose the right pair to make negative 7. This is negative 6 and 1. I can factor out 2 here and cross out the 2. So this is what I have for my denominator. Now, you realize that if you put them in a fraction form, this is what you have. And the slight problem, you don't have quite a common term. But we can do a bit of manipulation here. If we multiply the top by negative 1, and multiply the ne bottom by negative 1, we haven't changed the expression. But what we are trying to do is that if we multiply this by negative 1, we will change these signs and they will conform to what we want here. And we can multiply negative 1 by this expression so that we can maintain this. So at the end, this is what you have. And you see, by multiplying this by negative 1, we add, get 2x minus 1, which, will, which is common to this 2x minus 1 here. And we let the negative 1 affect only this, and we make this expression. So at the end, we can now what? Cancel this out, and this is what you have. So this is an alternative way of getting a simplified version of this expression. So this is equal to this one. You could have another variety, depending upon how you use the negative number. So this is a typical exam question on how to use factorizing to simplify break expressions. Let's look at further exam uh, questions.